we are rating the top five double flow users in the story currently. If you agree, or maybe you disagree with my list, or you maybe think I forgot something, please let me know. I will be expanding my One Piece content, so if you enjoy this video, please subscribe. And without any further ado, let's just get right into it. Warning, this does contain major spoilers for both the One Piece manga and the One Piece anime. Leave now if you don't want to be spoiled. Fifth place on this list, we have Aka Inu, the user of the Magma Magma Fruit. Whether it is blasting holes through people's chests, or the creator of One Piece himself, Oda, saying Aka Inu has the number one offensive devil fruit in this whole entire series, this Magma Man is one to be feared. I mean, he is the Fleet Admiral of the Marines for a reason. His notable achievements are literally scarring Luffy for life, killing his brother Firefist Ace, in the process proving Magma is superior to Fire, being the number one threat for the Whitebeard Pirates during all of Marine Ford, defeating Kuzon in a one-on-one. -on -one. Like, what else do you need? Number four on this list, we have Kaido. With this devil fruit, the fish fish model Azure Dragon. We know how powerful Kaido is. This man is called the world's strongest creature. Despite his eventual spoilers lost to Luffy, in that fight alone he fought multiple different people, all while holding Onigashima up in the sky with his clouds. Kaido the super, has super hard skin and physically is extremely powerful, not to mention his dragon form being able to make clouds blast lightning and borrow breaths effortlessly. This dude legit also has a hybrid form he can go into and easily switch between all his forms. Kaido has so much versatility in his abilities. In his fight with Luffy in the manga, we see him do so many attacks with his drunken fist style attacks, or even his own magma dragon attack. But talking about versatility, we have number 3 on this list. Number 3 is Law, dude. Law is a special man. This man has so much versatility. His devil fruit is legit called the Ope Ope no Mi. It really must mean Ope Ope no Mi, like geez. This guy can do anything. Law creates a room where he has total control. This man can do anything. Teleport himself and you. Unless your hockey's on a Yonko level, he can deal extensive internal damage with his Gamma Knife or a Shock Willy. Law is a skilled surgeon and has vast medical knowledge as well. Law in this series has battled Dolphin Mingo on close terms, then awakened his Devil Fruit and spoilers took down a Yonko. He was the prime reason for that, taking down Big Mom, the Yonko. He basically has a crazy counter in his base room for anything, and in that fight with Big Mom, he countered everything Big Mom did. Law is legit the white beard of Luffy's generation. Number 2, we have Luffy. With his gum gum and model Nika fruit. I mean, this fruit by itself isn't that OP. It's broken because Luffy fits it so well. Its strengths, its creativity required to use. Luffy's feats are well known. He took down Crocodile, Doflamingo, Doflamingo Katakuri, Kaido. Luffy's awakening gives him total freedom and, and he can control and he can stretch an infinite amount. And everything is possible as long as it follows the rules of his rubber fruit. Luffy also has insane stamina. And after the Kaido fight, he's probably even stronger at this point. Number 1 on this list, we have Blackbeard. An outlier to this whole top devil fruit users. Cause he doesn't possess just one insane devil fruit. But he possesses two. The Yami Yami no Mi and Gura Gura no Mi. The Darkness fruit and the Earthquake, Earthquake fruit. The Darkness fruit allows him to nullify any devil fruit user's abilities and the Earthquake Fruit lets him create massive chaos and destruction. Blackbeard both has the best Paramecia Devil Fruit and Logia Devil Fruit, and may even possess a third unknown Devil Fruit at this moment. Like this guy is the parallel to Luffy in the series, he is the modern day Zebek, he is totally evil and only continues to grow stronger with more practice with his Devil Fruit, he is the one who scarred Shanks, he is the one who beat Ace relatively easily, and he went on to Marineford and took everyone by notice becoming a Yonko so quickly. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and comment down below your list. I really appreciate you guys.